Comics and graphic novels are uh, experiencing a new golden age, thanks in part to a string of blockbuster movies based on uh, comics by DC and Marvel. In recent years, cartooning has also begun to flourish in Israel. A new exhibition at the Israel Cartoon Museum in Holon showcases the work of some of the country's leading female artists in the field. Maya Margit has more. Comic art is undergoing a renaissance in Israel, and women are playing a significant role. The landmark exhibition at the Israeli Cartoon Museum features the works of 14 of the country's top female artists. Titled The Museum of One's Own, inspired by Virginia Woolf's famous feminist text, much of the show is devoted to Friedel Stern, a trailblazing artist who taught three generations to follow in her creative footsteps. Friedel Stern is a very, is a very unique character. She's basically one of a kind. She's the only female cartoonist of her generation. She did uh, cartooning, not editorial cartooning, not political cartooning, but gag cartooning and illustrative work and a lot of graphic work. The exhibition marks 100 years since the birth of Stern, who emigrated from Germany to Israel at the age of 20. Drawn to art from an early age, she soon became the first female cartoonist to work in the comics medium after the state was established in 1948. The Israeli Museum in Holon houses roughly 13,000 works by Stern, and some of them are on display for the first time. Alongside her illustrations stand those by other women working in the same medium in what has become an increasingly popular art form. In fact, since Stern passed away 10 years ago, comics and cartoons have taken off in Israel, with many artists now gaining recognition both at home and abroad. People like Asaf and Tomer Hanuka, who with Boz Lavi just last week won the International Manga Award, which is amazing for their work, The Divine. Ruto Modan, who won Eisner's, won the Angoulême, Michel Kishka is being published worldwide. So Israeli comics are definitely on the rise, both in the national market and in the international scene. Hila Noam, one of the cartoonists participating in the groundbreaking exhibition at the Holon Museum, has also noticed a decisive shift in the way comics are perceived in Israel. A few years ago, you couldn't really hear about comics a lot, and only a few people who knew about it. Her illustrated book, Omnibus, created in collaboration with Einat Sarfati, presents the stories of two women trying to escape pervasive feelings of guilt. The stories were based on Noam and Sarfati's personal experiences. Autobiography is a recurring theme in many of the works on display. Ilana Zephrin, another artist in the show, believes this is actually a defining characteristic of Israeli comics. I think what's interesting here is that because we don't have a tradition of comics like in Europe or in the States, like the, we don't have the whole uh, superhero uh, industry or Asterix or Tintin in Europe. So the comic series is more uh, alternative and personal many times and less uh, mainstream. So what is it about the comics medium that makes it so appealing for contemporary artists? I choose to work in the comics medium because for me, as a comics creator, it is the best way to tell a story. I can basically control what the viewer sees, as well as what they read. The combination of text and image is what leads to a strong story. Ultimately, the comics exhibited at the Israeli Cartoon Museum present an eclectic combination of styles and subject matter. Ranging from comical to mundane to dramatic, they offer a glimpse into the complexities of Israeli life and culture. A museum of one's own will remain open until the end of August. Maya Margit is joining me now in the studio to complete the picture. Uh, Maya, wonderful uh, uh, story. It looks like a, a, an amazing exhibition. I'm very jealous that you uh, <laughs> went there. Um, it's the fact that it focuses on female artists. Uh, um, I, I find interesting. Is th are there more female artists now in this field? Is is that a fact? Definitely. When it first started in Israel, Israel's a very young country, it was established in 1948. When it first was established, there was only one female artist, and her name was Friedel Stern. She taught at the Betzalel uh, Academy of Arts and Design in Jerusalem. Uh, basically, she worked there for over three decades, and mm -hmm. she taught three generations of artists. And now the artists that are working in Israel, the female artists, are really well known, not just in Israel, but also abroad. Yeah. They've won prizes. You know, it seems like all of the works that, that I were able, uh, uh, that I was able to see in, in the story are um, geared towards uh, grown-ups, not so much uh, children. And usually we tend to think of comics as uh, first and foremost for kids, with some grown-ups.
grown-ups that are that are uh, you know attached to it as well. In Israel, that is not the case. Yeah, it seems that the superhero genre, which is really popular in North America, the Marvel and DC comics, is less of a thing here. It doesn't sell as well, maybe. So really what you get here are autobiographical or personalized comics. Uh, but there was actually one kind of hero comic there, and it's called Falafel Man by Dorit Mayago, And he's kind of an anti-hero. His superpower is throwing falafels at people. <laughs> Well, I don't know. That sounds to me like an ideal way to, to fight crime. Um, that's a, what about eating falafel? Is he especially good at that? Or He's something? fat also. He's All like, right, has a big belly. That completes the picture. Yeah. Maya, thanks uh, so much uh, for coming in and telling us more about it. Thank you.